We use very rigorous processes to find all the research that's relevant to COVID-19 and distill that down into a summary of the scientific knowledge in that area. And then we use that as a basis for then developing guidelines or recommendations for clinicians. And we've got a very experienced team who's been doing this literally for decades. What's different in this situation is, of course, because the pandemic is moving so quickly, we need to be updating these guidelines very, very rapidly. So that's why we're using this approach we call living guidelines. So literally guidelines that are updated every week as we learn more about the infection. Unprecedented time, we need to move at unprecedented speed. So um, again, we've got very experienced teams. Um, here in Australia, we've really been at the forefront of this um, move towards what we call living evidence. So these more efficient, rapid ways of making sense of scientific research. Um, we use software platforms, new technologies like machine learning, etc really to accelerate um, this whole process. And again, we, we, we're not cutting corners here. We're using very rigorous scientific processes, but bringing all of that to bear on, on the kind of immediate um, demands for, for up-to-date guidance. Well, I think all around the world, um, groups such as ourselves are, are developing guidelines rapidly and trying to keep them up-to-date with the latest research. But that's really building on the work that we've been doing here over a number of years in this living evidence model. So, as I mentioned, bringing technologies and new ways of working to bear so that we can develop these high quality summaries of scientific research in a way that's much more efficient and able to be delivered in near real time.